especially the containment around, around the sides, and then having material on the top so that there's, you know, there, there's essentially a cover on the top of sand, and then <coughs> vegetating it with with uh, naturally occurring vegetation instead of the invasive Phragmites because A, it's an invasive species, uh, B, it can be a fire hazard at certain times of year, and you know, some people have gone out there and, and messed around and caused fire. So, you know, we need, we need to eliminate that. So what you're saying is this island is not covered under the Triple Farm? No, absolutely not. No, it doesn't just... qualify. Okay. So therefore, it's not going to be fabric not going to be sand, fabric, sand, or anything else like that. It's not going to have that kind of multi-layer thing. And we and we have a lot of these sites around the city. And this is not, it's, it, it's not unusual, these kinds of sites. But they don't, it doesn't qualify as a super site. Anyone else have any questions? Uh, Pauline? We might have said this before, and I just didn't hear it. What exactly was dumped there? Do we know exactly what was dumped there? Just garbage, like sanitation truck garbage? Yeah. Dan, Annie? Yeah, you mentioned about spring. Do you know what kind of herbicide you use? Uh, it's based like a form of Roundup. Uh, I believe that, I think the actual, technically, the actual brine used was Touchdown Pro, I believe. But I can get that here. Will that lead you to the water anyway? It's, there's, depth, there's very specific regulations in terms of how it's sprayed. It's definitely sprayed by a, a licensed applicator. They're not going to be spraying in times of winds, I think I believe, above five miles an hour, or if it's going to rain within 24 hours so that the plant absorbs most of it instead of it just running off. It's also done with very fine sprays. It's not like a heavy spray to saturate the ground. The idea is more to keep it on the plant itself. How 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 harmful is that? I agree. Ironically, somebody sent me a, a uh, a pamphlet that gives what the, gives us the lethal dose number, the lower the number is, and what toxic it is. And caffeine and nicotine got rated a lot more toxic than this material, which makes it spark me. You mentioned about the, the stabilization of the, the shore around the island. Uh, you, you, you don't know exactly when, how you're going to stabilize that? Uh, we're yeah, in the right. process. We uh, maybe could go into a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, right. Our design is going to be going into DEC next week. Um, for the, they're looking at the 100% design. They're going to then potentially have comments, and then we'll finalize the design after that. But essentially, in the steepest portions of the island, where you see major, where you see a lot of the sandbags and garbage spilling in the areas that are about one to one to two to one slopes, those are all going to get large armor stone. So armor stone is a large three foot diameter stone, about 2,000 pounds each. Those are going to be put along that shoreline for permanent stabilization. I mean, you can't, you can't get much more stable than armor stone. And then as the slope um, gets more gradual, we're going to use different methods that incorporate vegetation. So we're using what they call um, terracels or articulated concrete blocks. So they're concrete blocks that are tied together with cables, and you lay them out as a blanket and you're able to plant in the middle of them so you actually have a combination of hard structure with vegetation. And then the third is a similar, it's mostly vegetation and soil with a little bit more um, lateral strength with, that's used with a fabric for la lateral strength and then we'll just have vegetation. So majority of the shoreline is actually going to be improved. The only areas that are not going to be improved are the areas that are very gradual and they're very stabilized where you see vegetation, you don't have any signs of waste being exposed. And the sand that's being eventually is going to spread cap over the island. Uh, is that going to wash into the creek? No, that's the, the shoreline is going to be stabilized all the way up to the top of the bank and the sand's only going to be put on the top of the island. So from the top of bank up. So that the stabilization is going to take care of all slopes. Yes. The whole top of the island is going to be a mixture of tall grasses, short grasses, different dune grasses that you see, beach grasses. Um, so a, a very um, high quality habitat for ground nesting birds. So the entire air, the entire island is going to be vegetated for and stabilization. Those grasses will hold the sand in place. Correct. Correct. It'll be, it'll be like a meadow habitat. Yes. So it doesn't need any maintenance? Nothing? 
Mowing. It may be, we may use some mowing in the first couple of years just to get to keep a diversity high. John, you have a question? Yeah, as long as you brought up the ground nesting birds, uh, aside from the ostrich, the six ostrich nests that we've had out there, they're now gone. And I understood those were endangered species. We also have cowrie grits and bluey grits out there, which are also, I understand, endangered species. Uh, what are you spraying when you do with those? We're spraying on the top of the island. The egrets are going to be more along the shoreline. So we're not spraying the shoreline. Well, the ospreys, do we know about the ospreys? I know parks did, because the parks guys used to be out there all the time. We used to be photoing uh, all the time. And I'm out there with a kayak all the time. We'd be pointing them out to people, and they'd be picking them up. And the uh, moons are showing them the osprey. The, um, I guess the vulnerability that osprey would have would be if there were chemicals finding their way in the fish that the osprey eat, the osprey eat only only fish. They don't nest on the island. They've been seen on the island. They had their nests up in the trees in uh, that. I've never seen a nest. They're, they're not there during breeding season. They're there during the fall. They're there during the spring. The, the, the possible explosion to the pathway of the osprey would be eating the fish. There is no way for the herbicide to get in, um, get into the water and get into the fish uh, applied properly the way it's been done. Uh, Marianne? Before you said there were going to be the big stones along the... So now you're going to put the stones in and then there's all that garbage that's going to be pushed out from the stone going down? No. No, the... I the well, there's garbage there now. So the garbage that's, that's there now will be capped. Capped with the stone and capped with soil. So the stone's going to push up. The it's stone's going to be laid on down. top of, correct, yes. The stone's not going to be coming down. It's going to be built from the bottom up. So from it's going to be capping the entire So any soil. rubbish or anything that's going to come into the water during all this, who's going to be in charge of cleaning it out? If we're generating garbage, we'll be taking care of it. So you're going to take it spot? If we generate it, yes. Okay. We'll take and anything else in the water that's going to be taking out? All this sure. procedures being done? Oh, yeah, the, uh, part of the project too is we're like, there's the remnants of the old bridge. Right. Uh, the idea of wards from it because of the safety hazard, the horizontal members that are there, where there's, there's times when they just come down, all the horizontal members, those are all going to get cleaned up and then it won't be taken off. What about the poles? The poles will remain? Uh, right now we have it as the poles remaining. And any, any folks that are over there, are those going to be removed? Uh, right? Yeah, we're looking into trying to clean up. But who's going to do it though? It'll be all part of the same contract. With, with the park department? Yes, all oh, part of the, the whole reconstruction island that's all included as part of it. It wouldn't be separate contracts. Because you know you're going to have now this beautiful island. You're going to go, you're going to step off the glass, or without, you know, someone's got to be responsible for keeping it clean now. Are they dredging around the island too? No. No, it's not. Are they still going to be able to water ski around the island? Uh, yep. Yeah. No way. Uh, yeah, stay away. Nothing will be closed off for a second. I'm, 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 not, I'm not done. I just, okay. I, what I'm trying to say is, you know, people are going to come to this island now to visit it. Are you allowed to go out? there? No. Yeah. Even though you're not allowed, that doesn't mean anyone's right. going to go there. Right. So who's going to be responsible for keeping the island clean? You know, we know this is Garrett Beach. People have visited the island for many, many years, and they're going to continue to. Is there now no trespassing on We're going to continue to manage this park as an island. It's going to have habitat value. We'll be monitoring it. We'll certainly be monitoring the wildlife, the success of the habitat, and attracting the bird species. We'll be monitoring the landscape up front in the initial years especially to make sure that it that it, it it takes off and thrives. We're not going to manage the site like a neighborhood park. We won't have crews going there to pick up litter. Um, we're going to have to have, I think, an ongoing dialogue with the community. You know, we have never encouraged, we've never managed White Island as a place where we want public access. We know that people from the community right. go there, mm -hmm. and we are not. We are not intending to have enforcement officers out there to snag people. What we would prefer is to have a dialogue with the community going forward so that there is a lot of awareness 
particularly at the times of the years where some of the, the, the birds that will be using 